Hey everybody, Buddy with First Time RVers. Hope you're all doing well. Well, this weekend we are at the Myrtle Beach KOA. So at the front of the park here, you have the little grill, Bowie's buoy, I guess is what it's called. They have these bikes and quads that you can rent all day, half a day, hourly. And for those of you who aren't too adventurous, feel free to rent a motorized quad. Of course, there's your jump pad. And you can probably hear the little splash pad. Nothing spectacular, but hey, a place to get wet when it's 100 degrees out. And the pool's just beyond there. And the vast majority of the campsites, whether they're tents or for RVs or back here. i tell you what I do like about this campground is it's really peaceful. Now, as you can see, a lot of these tent sites here there's no one here, and these would just be electric and water. Straight back there is a lot of long-term people. Look at this pretty cool Dodge Caravan pop-up. Now that is cool. I've never seen one of those. Have you? A few other Class Bs over here. Here we're getting into the cabins. Here's an example of one of the padded sites. And every site here is in the trees. So it's not, you're not in the woods, but you're in the trees. So there's definitely a lot of shade. And then there's nice uh, bathhouses. And they have some sites without Concrete pads still aren't bad, but I do like those concrete pads. This area here, you have those, what are they called, enus that they've put up for you to relax in in the woods here, under the trees. And then this nice big lake with fishing and a little stage over there. And of course there is a beach shuttle that'll take you to the beach all day long from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. I'm standing in front of KOA Myrtle Beach and the building straight down that road just beyond those buildings is where the beach is so it's not that far at all. I saw this robin collecting grass to make a nest. Anyways, as I was saying, recycling. I notice at KOAs, I see a lot of recycling, but not at a lot of other campgrounds do I see recycling, which I think is odd because one of the biggest reasons we camp is because it gets us out into nature. And what better way to help nature than to recycle? But yet, most campgrounds I've been to, I see no recycling, or it's not really encouraged I guess you could say but look at that little guy he's just got a mouthful of dry grass oh he keeps dropping some DTI Zorla. 
It's hard to see because I'm really zoomed in here. But that's a military like cargo plane with two planes on its back end. I think that might be the Blue Angels. This is the um, kind of the nightlife area. There's a dueling piano bar over there and a couple clubs and stuff. Here at Broadway at the beach, tons of shops, a number of restaurants. You got Wonderworks down there, which is like a hands on museum. And you have the speedboat you can. Uh, Take a ride on. And like I said, a number of places to eat. Back and down that boardwalk there is a big area with a bunch of bars. Big nightlife. You got a Ripley's Aquarium. Look what Madison found here. <laughs> This place is called It's Sugar, to anyone who's never been. It's a big store full of everything candy. As far as the eye can see, candy, candy, candy. The crazy fish of Myrtle Beach. Just threw some food in and look what they do. 